Hi, in this video we're going to talk about a certain type of annuity that are called rainbow annuities. Uh, these are uh, annuities, they tend to show up pretty frequently on the actuarial exams and I'm going to show you a formula that I suggest that you commit to memory to uh, help you, it, it'll, it'll, make, it'll save you a lot of time if you'll commit this formula to memory. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what a rainbow annuity is. It's an annuity in which the payments are one and then a two and then a three up to some value in, and then they start decreasing. So the payments start off increasing and then they decrease. They reach a peak, the peak of in there. So this is an in peak rainbow annuity. Um, the timeline would look like this, and so it's kind of clear why you may want to call this a rainbow annuity. All right, so I'm going to get right to the punchline with the formula there instead of trying to drive it. I'm just going to give it straight to you. If you take the valuation date at the time of the first payment, and that's what, uh, so I'm thinking of this as a rainbow annuity due, then the present value of this rainbow annuity due is an a double dot angle N squared. Now it's not clear why that's true, but uh, that's just the punchline. I'm just going to give you the formula. And so what is, uh, you got to keep in, in mind what the N value is. N is the peak of this rainbow annuity. So if you look at it, the payments increase up to N and then decrease back down to one. So I would say in words, I would say that A double dot angle N squared is the present value of this basic rainbow annuity due. Okay, now there's different ways that I could have calculated the present value, but that's a very useful formula. So that's the one that I encourage you uh, to, to remember. For, uh, there are other ways to get the present value. For instance, I could look at this rainbow annuity. I could, I could group together the first N, N payments, the, the payments one up to N. I'll highlight them in blue and then the other payments in red. And then I could actually calculate the present value. You can see I've got it written down on the, this slide. I could think of this present value as color-coded. The N payments have a present value of an IA double dot angle N at the valuation date. And then the payments in red from N minus one on back down to, to an N, I could think of that as a, as a, a, a D, a, a decreasing annuity, so a basic decreasing annuity. So it's present value. I could start with a cap D A double dot angle N minus one. If you just stop there with the cap D A double dot angle N minus one, that's giving you a, a, a value of that annuity at, at the time of that payment of N minus one that's in red. So then I need to discount that back to the valuation date. And if you'll do some counting here, you'll see that the number of periods from the payment of N minus one that's in red back to the valuation date shown there is N payments. And so the payments in red I could value as a cap D A double dot angle N minus one times the V to the N to get me back to the valuation date. All right. And so I could also actually re, re uh, uh, you know, look at, uh, grouping the payments, regroup the payments another way. I could group the payments one up to N minus one, the first payment of N minus one together and view that as a cap A or the value of that annuity in blue there, the one, two up to an N minus one at, at the valuation date, the value there would be a cap I A double dot angle N minus one. And then those payments uh, in red there on your screen, the payments of N, N minus one on down to, to a one, that's a basic decreasing uh, annuity. I could value that with a cap D A double dot angle N. If I stop there, it's given me the value at the time of the payment of N. I would need to discount that back to the valuation date, which is N minus one periods. And I would do that by multiplying by the V to the N minus one. So that's why there's that factor of V to the N minus one on the N. But I strongly encourage you, though, to instead of trying to think of these rainbow annuities as an increasing annuity followed by a decreasing annuity, it's true, but it will save you a lot of time, and there are actually some problems that it's almost impossible to do the problem if you don't remember this formula, this basic formula. So this formula will save you time, uh, save you time, and it will, you know, there are some problems that you know, it may only be able, you may only be able to do it using this formula. Okay, let's look at a kind of an easier example. It's a, I got a little bit of a tweak to it, but an easier example of rainbow annuities to show you how to, how to work with this formula. So here's our, our example. Let's say that we're using a 6% periodic effective interest rate. We want to determine the present value 
uh, at the valuation date of this annuity shown. So this, if you look, the, the payments starts at a three instead of a one and then a two and then a three, it starts at a three, but the payments increase, uh, you know, it is a three, a six, six is, so the three is like a three times one, the six is a three times two and so forth. So I can think of this as like three different basic rainbow annuities piled on top of one another. All right, so that's one tweak to the problem is that the payments are not like one, two, three, and so forth, but they're three, six, nine, twelve, and, and, and so forth. So they increase by threes and then decrease by threes. The other little tweak to this one is that look at the valuation date. It's not at the time of the first payment, which is where my formula that I had before. Let me see if I back up. Remember, here's the formula for the basic rainbow annuity uh, present value of the basic rainbow annuity due, it, the, it's an annuity, I'm thinking of it as annuity due, so the payment is at the time of the first payment, whereas on this example, I've moved the valuation date back a little bit. So let's, let's, we can take care of that by putting in this intermediate valuation date where the, at, at the time of the first payment. And so I'm going to think of the, having two different present values. I'll call it a present value sub zero, PV sub zero, and then a PV sub one. And I know that if I have the value of PV sub one, I could just discount it one period to get back to a PV sub zero. So I just take whatever I get for the PV sub one value and I, and I, 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 I divide that then by a 1.06 because that's what V would be equal to in this case is a one divided by a, a 1.06. So now I'm going to focus on trying to get the, the, this, this value uh, this present value. Now, I said before, and that's, that's how I'm thinking of it, if, since I have a 3, 6, 9, 12, so forth, I'm thinking of it as a basic rainbow, uh, three different basic rainbow annuities. So like a 1, 2, 3 on top of a 1, 2, 3 on top of a 1, 2, 3. So I have uh, three of them, and so the present value at uh, at the valuation date shown will be three times the present value of the basic rainbow annuity due, and that would be three times that would be three times uh, the square of a double dot angle n. So then I need to know well what is the n value? Remember n is the peak. So I look at that number 81 and I see the payment of 81. Well that's a three times a 27. So the peak is actually at a 27. So my value of this of this rainbow annuity due would be a three times an a double dot angle 27 squared and of course again I'm going I'd like to know the value one period before that that was the original problem and so I need to take three times the a double dot angle 27 squared and divide that by the 1.06 I get when I do that so at this point it's just go to the calculator and 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 do it and when I do this I get the value 554.97 to the nearest penny okay so that was a little bit of a tweaky problem but uh, that's that's a that's a, a a basic rainbow annuity problem. The formula is very very useful, and I'll show you a couple of more uh, examples in in uh, in the next videos.